All right, guys, I have decided to make a quick short story using some AI images and AI animations maybe in the end. I just want to make something that's inspired by Quentin Tarantino. So I'm using ChatGPT, GPT-40. I actually believe that 40 Mini is better currently. So let's just go with, I want to create a scene where three people interact with each other in the style of Quentin Tarantino dialogues about revenge and paradoxical questions. Give me a list of 10 ideas and short, short description. You have more than 35 plus years of experience creating dialogues and know all the tips and tricks. Let's see. So we have the restaurant rendezvous, the pool hall debate, the abandoned warehouse, the vintage record store, the desert standoff. Oof, this one might actually be something nice. And uh, let's see. Library, haunted house. So let's go with the deserted standoff. All right. So I just told it to give me five versions of the conversations. So the one that I went with is in the desert, three adversaries meet for a final confrontation. Their dialogue is a mix of dark humor and philosophical questioning whether their pursuit of revenge is preordained or a result of their own choices. I want you to give me five versions of this and make different attempts to be something original like from the other Quentin Tarantino movie dialogues. And what I could do here is read through all of these and just take inspiration and use like different parts in different dialogues and so on. So this one here is actually really good. So Alice looking around, you ever feel like we're just extras in some twisted film? Here we are in a desert arguing about revenge like it's some grand plotline. And Bob laughing, oh absolutely, I bet we're all here because some screenwriter thought it would be hilarious to put us through this. What a joke. And then the third character, if it's a joke, then it's on us. We're the ones making the choices that led to this very moment. Whether it's scripted or not, we're the ones holding the script. It's actually funny. Well, I hope it's a good script. Otherwise, we're all just walking cliches waiting for our final scene. Here's hoping the final scene has a twist ending. At least then we'll have something to laugh about in the afterlife. So from here we can just say create the descriptions for our characters and make them unique. So after it has created the description of our three characters here, we can just tell it to create a mid journey prompt for each character give me three different variations of same close-up shot so now it creates three variations three different prompts for me journey for every character so all we need is one which is good because we're going to use open arts facial expression changer which is really, really awesome for the kind of story that I'm trying to create here. Another great thing with open art is the different models that you can choose from. So you have everything from photorealistic to cartoon, 3D, anime, and so on. So I'm just going to use the Flux model, which is actually as good as Mid Journey in most cases. All I did was to paste the prompt here. If you want to change the aspect ratio, you can come down here. I landed on the black and white style and uh, I generated an image for the last scene. So go to in paint and there we go. And then I just select the head and make sure the general quality one is selected. Select the image of our character that we want to replace the head with. And uh, usually you can write a prompt since we have selected, just click on create. And we got four variations. So this is the first one, this is all right. Uh, there are some artifacts in this too, yeah, and this one is the best. To create a consistent and stable video, I need to generate at least two different images of our characters in slightly different angles and head directions. This expression changer inside of Open Art is the best tool for this job. You have a menu on the right with a bunch of different settings and you can control everything from eyes, mouth, brow, head directions and rotations. With this tool, you can create the exact micro expression you want. I have made another video on my channel where I go in depth on how to use this. 
By making small adjustments to the head and having the same background in our images, we can create a consistent video where the appearance of the characters stay the same. For our second character, I used one image and fun things can happen if you don't control the last frame. She moves out of the scene and the AI creates a great effect, adjusting the focus to the desert in the background. I sometimes let the AI create its own animation instead of me adding the last frame, just to see what it creates. I use it as inspiration. Like this scene from a short animation trailer I created a while ago, there is a man appearing in a scene by accident and it wasn't my intention and what I wrote in my prompt. But I ended up using it and we wrote the script around him. Where is the cave? Stupid tree doesn't know anything. You can always edit and cut out the video or generate multiple times if you don't get something decent at first. And then we have a comparison between Pika Labs and Luma AI. Luma AI is a clear winner and for the next step I'm going to use Eleven Labs for the sound effects and the voice. Oh, absolutely. We're all here because some screenwriter thought it'd be hilarious to put us through this. What a joke. The background music was generated by Suno. <music> Last step here is to combine the audio with the video and sync it with the lip movement. So like everything else, there is an AI for that. Unfortunately, they have added a watermark to the free version. And here is how it looks in the end with the lip sync and everything together. You ever feel like we're just extras in some twisted film? Let's hope the final scene has a twist ending. At least then, we'll have something to laugh about in the afterlife. We're the ones making the choices that lead to this very moment. Whether it's scripted or not, the joke's on us. Well, I hope it's a good script. Otherwise, we're all just walking cliches waiting for our final... It isn't the best video I've created, but the workflow is the same. If you would like a more in-depth video on how I created an animation trailer instead, make sure you check out the link in the description. Lately, I've been using a lot of their tools and it's for different projects and it's great to have so many tools under one roof. I also create character sheets using Flux inside of OpenArt and it's great if you don't want to run things locally or are stuck with an AMD graphics card just like me. You can even run ConfUI and combine it with the Flux model. It's available inside their community on their website. If you have watched this video all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend and thank you. Bye.